Hello everyone, I am Ardhan Dude. You are watching Eddie's English Literature. Herein I am going to carry out a detailed analysis of Atlas Leonard Huxley's critical essay, Tragedy and the Whole Truth. It is a critical essay that sets different levels of understanding literary texts. This video lecture that I am presently giving you will include the theme and the style of Huxley's essay but here we will try to understand the tragedy, the novel and the purpose of the tragedy and how it is related to the concept of truth, whole truth. So critical observation and style of the essay is our prime focus but also we will find out the concept of truth and how it is related to literature. So let's start and study the piece through the detailed analysis step by step. But first of all, what is truth and how is it related to literature? Alas Huxley, a great literary critic, highly individualistic writer and a major modernist shows the differences between tragic literature and that of non-tragic literature. The tragic literature that contains partial truth and non-tragic epic kind of literature that also includes novel is containing the whole truth. So his masterpiece is a tragedy and the whole truth is a must reading for literary criticism and the lucid crystal clear statement in his criticism uh, and uh, the literary piece that he observed and how he interprets that truth and the truthfulness that th those kinds of literature that is expressed uh, in this critic it is analyzed in detail learned and brilliant way the artistic revelation of the essence of the literature that is the truth uh, the whole truth interwoven in the subject of interest in this particular piece. Here Huxley also shows the superiority of the whole truth over the tragedy. Now we are also going to discuss the differences between tragedy and the whole truth in details. In order to know the difference between tragedy and the whole truth, we are at first to know what that truth is. We generally find two types of truth. First one is actual truth and the other one is literary truth. The actual truth as it happens in front of us and the literary truth is the artistic filtration of that truth or to make a possible impact on that particular literature author makes a choices out of this truth and that is filtered one. Now first of all what is super truth? or the whole truth. Huxley draws a distinction between the tragedy and the novel in his essay and tragedy is limited in its scope and range he says the novel has a much wider sphere. Now this kind of novel writing is also included epical writing where a lot of character and gesture is there. Here the emotional collectivity uh, discursive manner is also there. So this kind of literature uh, arrays the full course of life. Tom Jones, for example, embracing an all-inclusive character. So Huxley refers to the incident of Homer's Odyssey, the description of the beast and the bravest of the heroes. Companions, heroes companions, really devoured by the monster Skyla that reveals the truth, the whole truth nothing but the truth instead of dropping incision tears that we will find in general literature life continued here so huxley's conception of the whole truth can best be understood so this kind of homeric references he prefers to an incident that i have just referred to from the odyssey uh, the hero odysseus is no doubt a great valiant hero and his manners are no inferior but uh, after uh, Philo Sellers and Monster Skyla war or a fight, many of these scholars died in front of them. So 
Now, what happens next? In general literature, pages after page, there should have been dropping of tears. But what happens in Homer? Because it encompasses the entirety of human civilization or human uh, mind. So, the miners had nothing to do but to cook helplessly. So, uh, this tragic incident or this kind of tragic incident makes the whole truth. So, let shed tears in the memory of their departed friends only after they had enjoyed an expertly cooked supper. While many mourn for their friends, they gently fall off into sleep. If a tragic writer had written about this kind of incident, he would have concentrated on mourning only. In, in, in ordinary piece of life, we happens to meet the biological need, we happens to meet many of our emotional need. So the whole truth is only in our way of living. So here Homer tries to arrest that whole truth. So what Huxley says, he knew that even the most cruelly bereaved must eat. That hunger is stronger than sorrow and that its satisfaction was precedence even of tears. Huxley then refers to another scene from a non-tragic literature, Fielding Storm Jones, a novel in which Sophia, a heroine of the novel, was lifted by an innkeeper from her horse. But the foot of the innkeeper slipped and he fell down. Consequently, he fell on top of him and the brief and partly gleam of Sophia's charming posterior was revealed before the pumpkins at the door. So is this a realistic representation of a heroine? Yes, but in so many of the cases the representation of the heroine might have been in other way. A chisel doll who should have been no faults, even she is superhuman stature, but here is no such case. Here is presented a human character, and that human or that representation of human is the whole truth. Huxley further claims that if Desdemona of the tragedy or the Othello had faced same incident as Sophia did, this kind of incident, she must have lost their place. Uh, in the part of this great tragedy because all of the main characters of the tragedy must be chemically pure so to make a tragedy chemically pure the tragedian make some amendments or make some filtration out of the whole truth so Huxley explained the meaning of the truth in literature in different way, in critical way. According to him, the whole truth contains the experience recorded in a piece of literature which corresponds fairly closely with actual experiences or with potential experiences. The whole truth is a kind of super truth, the truth that prevails or binds humanity or that makes a man living with the purpose of eternity or the purpose of ongoing civilization. Now our next point, what is literary truth and what is practical truth? To Huxley, two and two makes four. Or Queen Victoria came to the throne in 1837 or light travels at the rate of 187000 miles a second is the example of actual truth. But in literature we may not find such a truth. Literary truth is far different from the practical truth. After reading an incident from the literary work it may rise to our mind oh it is similarly to my experience or it is it may have happened in my life so this kind of truth 
is interesting one. To Huxley, good art possesses a kind of super truth is more probable, more acceptable, and more convincing than fact itself. Tragedy uh, as a literary piece gives the half truth or uh, the poetic truth that is only needed for tragedy. Tragedy is an arbitrary isolated eddy on the surface of the vast river that flows majestically, irresistibly around beneath or either side of the truth. In order to make a tragedy, the artist must isolate a single element out of the totality of human experience. Now another key point I must discuss that tragedy distills its material from the whole truth. Uh, Huxley reveals that tragedy distills its material from the whole truth and gives the tragedy more interesting one. A chemical purity is there which makes uh, it quicker uh, in its impact on the readers and gives the power of catharsis. So the sole purpose of the tragedy is to elicit pity and fear and making a kind of uh, cathartic emotions on uh, the readers or the spectators uh, but uh, how it can be lasting one how the sizzle so can be lasting one unless the incidents are chosen solely for the purpose of tragedy but such kind of impact is not uh, available in the novel because it shows the whole truth but the overall impact of the novel or the epical literature is much wider than that of tragedy. Now one critic that he mentions that Richards, Richards consider a kind of tragedy, good tragedy, proof against any irrelevance. you know. A good tragedy has the quality of absorbing anything uh, out of it or beyond it but still remain the tragedy you know if you add another color into the prominent color the prominent color make its presence prominence by absorbing the second color the same thing happens in tragedy so the tragedies of Shakespeare reveals the kind of uh, a broader humanism broader cynicism uh, but um, but we cannot interfuse that kind of photographic negative of the uh, heroic romance into another plank. It just cannot be made fruition or make a success. So each and every uh, artistic revelations through novel, through epical literature, as well as from tragic literature, has its sole purpose and making a roundabout way of representing the truth and it happens in tragedy but entirety of life is presented in epical literature. So Huxley thinks that the whole truth is not compatible with tragedy. No tragedy, he says, uh, reveal the whole truth. We should not expect the whole truth where a writer has produced the tragic effect. Tragedy is something separate from the whole truth. Tragedy is chemical pure, tragedy is a chemically performed actions. So its function of catharsis has its different level. So tragedy refines emotions in human life and corrects it. Or tragedy try to de define or refine human emotions or emotional life and corrects it. So tragedy is valuable and significant. But when it comes to relating the truth, tragedy makes a truth through filtration whereas the epical literatures or literature on a larger white canvas represents the or try to represent the whole truth. So writings which tell the whole truth produce a different effect upon our mind. Such writings overflow the limits of tragedy. Tragedy is an arbitrarily isolated eddy on the surface of the vast river that flows around. Beneath and either of the side of the river. Not only that uh, particular eddy. So 
a tragedy is like that of a sidewalk whereas the whole truth or whole truthful literature that happens pop up in novel or epical writing goes straight into the mainstream now in discussing the modern literature Huxley says that modern literature is very close to the whole truth because it's stream of conscience novel as well as um, the absurdist literature experimental existential literature and all this kind of literature simultaneously uh, represent um, the truthful literature of human spirits you know and it represents a kind of a literature that tells of human life that is very close to literature so um, so the modern literature is very much close to uh, the old the modern day life or old the whole truth the elegant delightful and charming and vigorous critical writing you can observe in this Huxley essay it is lucid simple and as well as serene the style is very natural flowing and elegant uh, as a verbal craftsman ship uh, Huxley is admirable for his love of craftsmanship as his medium of words used with imagination so with his choice of words at fragile uses uh, this kind of brilliant piece of literature uh, only such not very common in critical essays so intellectual liberty and the astonishing learning that Huxley display here also adds to our mind so it is here polished is here clarity is here everything is straightforward and the eloquence the sincerity and the condensed statement, the heavier statement makes so lucid explanation, expressed so beautifully that we are all such engrossed in his writing. Tragedy and the whole truth is a beautiful expression on the nature of truth in artistic literature. It is unique, critical, well knit and eloquent. The tragedian is not independent to depict all the incidents of character's life. For example, Shakespeare could not at all have the power to depict an incident for Desdemona like Fielding uh, could have expressed the scene of Sophia uh, falling from the horse. Now, uh, what I say that to make a tragedy, you cannot have the whole truth. To make a novel, you cannot have that tragic truth. So different literary works have different purposes. And as a student of literature, you must note that each and every literature serves its purpose minutely. And you have to understand what the purpose it does for a particular piece of literature. The purpose of both tragedy and the whole truth uh, is to told different aspects of human life. As tragedy is restricted by some rules and regulations, needless to say that there is heavy work on poetics, uh, it is unable to bring out every aspect of human life. But non-tragic novel or literary epics can have the quality that can do so. Therefore, it is obvious that tragedy, the partial truth, has much differences from the whole truth. But the two different coins have some different buying capabilities. You must take a note of that. So this is all for the first brief lecture on the tragedy and the whole truth. And if there is any such questions that pop up in your mind, just ask me. I will try my best to give some answers. Like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.